Ah, uh, yes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am the PZW owner, Adam Nessel. And tonight is a very special occasion for moi. You see, my two biggest problems are going to solve each other. Derek Simonetti versus Stevie James, and they're not too quite happy with one another, and they're going to face off, and they're going to hurt each other, and I cannot wait, because it's a long time coming. You see, this is, a, this is something I've dreamt about, and this is something I've masterminded. I, I couldn't have planned it if I did it myself. Oh, wait, I did. So I'm a little bit excited, folks. You see, tonight, it may be bad for Derek Simonetti and Stevie James, but tonight is very very good for the reign of terror. So I advise all of you people, the audience, sit back, relax, and enjoy my work. Let's get ready to rock television after weeks of speculation it has finally come down to this stevie james has asked to get in the ring one-on-one -on -one with his mentor derek simonetti and i'm getting a brand new broadcast partner who's even a surprise to me but before we get to that let's take you back to an altercation between stevie james and derek simonetti from earlier today hey derek I can't believe you. Why did you choose Kenny Nestle over me as your partner? Why? What are you talking about? Do you realize afterwards he turned on you? I've been by your side for the longest time, Derek. What is going through your head? Why didn't you choose me? I'm pissed off about this. I've been by your side, looking up to you, wanting to be like you. You know? What, what the hell's going on? He turned on you. I would never do that to you. I'm your friend. And what the hell is this match all about, Steven? This match tonight I chose because Adam Nessel talked to me. He brought me into it. I'm making the challenge. I think I'm the better man. I believe that I am. I'm better than you. That was horse what you did out there. You chose someone who turned on you, not like me. I would never do that. So you know what? I'm gonna prove to you tonight that I'm the better man. Steven, Steven, you got it all wrong. I didn't do any of that. I don't got anything wrong, like Derek! I don't have anything wrong. I have a right to be pissed at you, and I have nothing wrong. I am gonna prove to you I am right. So tonight, you and me, all right? We're gonna settle this. I am so angry at you. You're gonna see. I, I can't believe you did that to me. Real friends, huh? Nice going. I'll see you out there. When 15 minutes is not enough for you, go to the brand new interactive PZWrestling.com. Catch up on episodes you may have missed, check out exclusive photos and videos on our Facebook, and join in on the conversation on Twitter and get a free DVD. For all that and much more, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, pzwrestling.com, it's a dot com. Ladies and gentlemen, Stevie James has entered the arena. I, of course, am Joe Cole, the King of All Wrestling commentary, sitting, unfortunately, side by side with my new color commentator. That's right, I'm PZW champion, Tough Talk Tony Spencer. I just want to say right at the outset that um, I never liked you, and I like you even less now that you're sticking up my studio. Yeah, whatever you say, moose. And it's moose. Yeah, you look like a moose. Derek Simonetti coming to ringside 
easily for a match that he does not want to have. So I got to ask Tony, what's your girlfriend got against Eric Simonetti? Let me tell you something, Jimmy. You know that you look like a moose, right? You got a face for radio. Are we going to do this all night? No, what we're going to do, unlike you and the rest of your commentators, is we're going to talk about the action in the ring. Well, right now, we're in a very uncomfortable situation. Stevie James seems to be brainwashed by Adam Nessel, and Derek Simonetti certainly does not want to be in that ring right now. He's got to put it behind him. He's got to get his head in the game. That's how you win. Trust me, I know how to win. Oh, oh do you? I do. How'd you win the, how'd you win the PCW championship team? Fair and square. Get the wrong idea. Oh! oh my lord, did you hear that? He slapped that taste right out of his mouth. Words aren't gonna help, Derek. They're not gonna help. I know you're upset. Slap him again! Stevie James has clearly picked the winning team. All right, and the battle is on. The referee, who still, for some reason, looks like a janitor, is now officiating this very uncomfortable match and a big splash in the corner. It's got to call for that kind of brutality when you're dealing with someone who thinks so highly of himself. Adam Nessel wouldn't talk to you like that, Steven. Yeah, well, sometimes you need a little tough love from the people that actually care about you. Listen, I don't know too much about tough love, but I do know about tough talk, and I know that tough talk is on top. Yeah, that's right. You're the uh, PCW Heavyweight Champion. You uh, defended the championship against such incredible opponents like John Cena Bag. Brandon, you know, Brandon White's girlfriend, you know how heartbroken he was about that? I can only imagine. And there will be no spelling bee tonight. Derek Simonetti not playing into the theatrics of Stevie James. Well, uh, Derek's coming from a different place than Steven is. I don't think Steven is as emotionally torn up by this encounter as Derek is. I, I can't imagine why he wouldn't be, Tony. I mean, this is his best friend. This is the man who has cared about him since the day he came to PZW. But that doesn't mean that Steven cares about Derek. Are you trying to tell me that he would care, I don't know, more about Adam Nessel than, say, his own best friend? That's what it looks like to me in this encounter, Moose. So uh, how much money did it take, uh, how much money did it take for you to start carrying uh, Adam Nessel's bags around? Just, just out of curiosity. 38.50. That's not a question I have to answer on air. Moose. Stevie James with a couple of elbows in the stomach. Well placed elbows. An Irish whip into the corner. Looks like we might see a Stevie dog. And a reversal puts Stevie, hung him up on the second rope. Big chops in the back and the knee pads coming down. Running double knees in the back. See, Derek is on. Derek is on the attack here. I don't know if Steven realizes this. Oh, and there's your girlfriend watching from the back, trying to figure out uh, which pony he's going to play in this race. But we all know that he's uh, he's been trying to get Stevie James in his pocket for quite some time now. Listen, Moose. Just because I am a licensed and bonded professional wrestler, and you are a hack microphone. He doesn't give you the liberty to say these things about Mr. Adam Ness. And a big Stevie dog by Stevie James. You're not even here. And Derek Simonetti spills out to the floor. Look at this. Look at this killer instinct that Steven has. Thanks to Adam Nessel. And look at that. Do you see that painting I painted in homage to the viciousness that Steven possesses? I just want to uh, say that I beat Steven. 
I just want to put that out there. Is that really apropos to this conversation? Absolutely. Does, but does it really matter? Look, here's Steven taking a chance that he wouldn't have taken under the tutelage of Derek. And a flying crossbody out to the concrete floor. And it pays off! Yeah, Steven! Sometimes it pays off to be a little vicious and insane, Moose. Look, we're not talking about vicious and insane, we're talking about wrestling. All right, and right now, Stevie James has got the upper hand in a contest I didn't think I'd have to watch. Stevie gonna throw him back in the ring. Derek reverses. Oh my God, he just broke Steven's face on the ground. Some mentor. I never thought I'd say this. I think I have to agree with you, Tony Spencer. Well, Shades of Zabisco and San Martino here in GCW. Do, yeah, but neither of these men are walking out of that cage anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Stevie James, if he's even remote, oh. you want to talk about vicious and insane? I think Derek Simon is about to let the beast loose on Stevie James himself. A DDT out on the floor. I, I hope he has. Just make it quick. And you gotta think that Derek Simonetti probably walked this match yeah! thinking that Steven would be nothing at all. You've gotta be. He kicked out of it. He just he just kicked out of a DDT on the floor. And with power, can you feel the power, Tony Spencer? I feel a lot of anger coming from Steven. Derek Simonetti is beside himself. I don't think Derek knows what to do. I really think Derek is lost. Oh, that could have been a mistake. Oh my lord, he's lighting him up. And a stunning display of professional wrestling is in front of us right now. Big wild elbow right to the face of Stevie James and Derek's backed him into the corner. I'd make a wrestling call super right now, but this is a fight. Oh no, he's calling for the superplex. The superplex, the move that ended the, the winning streak of Richie Sick over Derek Simonetti. The move that almost won him back the PCW Championship. And he is about to put his, his protege through the mat with a superplex. And did you see, what was your girlfriend doing? Why did he get up off his lazy boy? No, I'm going, I don't know. I'm looking, I'm watching the action. Come on. Look at this, this is a superplex. On, he's gonna superplex. He can't do it. And this is his emotions betraying him. When you are in that ring, when you are a professional, you leave your emotional baggage in the back. That's a real man. I want you to look real close, Tony Spencer. That's what a real man looks like. And there is a Hurricane DDT. A real man wouldn't lose the upper hand, Moose. Both men down, and what is this? What is Adam Nessel doing here, and why does he have a chair? It's intelligence. The advantage quotient. Adam Nessel in the ring apron. Clearly, this is a no disqualification match for some reason that I uh, that I can't quite figure out. But it looks like Stevie James is about to whack Derek Simonetti in the come back on, of the head Steven, with a chair. Come on, Steven! Come on, Steven! Come on! Oh, uh, he got bagged. Come on! I... Don't do it! Moose, I gotta go. Don't do it, don't do it. Where, where the hell are you going? I gotta go, I gotta go. Tony Spencer has just dropped his headphones and walked out of this arena, and Stevie James has dropped the chair in the ring, refusing to use the chair against Derek Simonetti. You son of a bitch! What's Tony Spencer? Oh my god, he just crowned Derek Simonetti with that chair! And the referee is powerless to do anything! No, not like this, Steven. Come on. Oh. Stevie James just defeated Derek Simonetti. But he doesn't really look like he wanted to. Re no, we're not, no, screw that. We're not showing a replay of that. I don't want to see that again. Stevie James may have just signed his name on the dotted line, but for the wrong side, for the wrong team. And you can hear the PZW fans slowly but surely filtering 
They're all upset with Stevie James as Derek Simonetti lay disappointed in the PCW ring. 